Hello and welcome to another episode of our jump and run tutorial series using Godot Mono. In this episode we will get to simple animations. So in this episode we will not use the animation player but we will make use of our animated sprite. So in here you can see it says animations, for example our default animation if I hit on playing you can see it simply rotates through all of these sprites. I could create another animation for that I'd have to load in the sprites. But for now, for our use case, we won't use these animations, but we will do them ourselves in code. So here we are in the player.cs file. We say public override void process and we'll create a method called private void update animations. So as you can see we have four different animation frames 0, 1, 2, 3. We can simply update this frame value inside of our code. Our animated sprite by node animated sprite. So here we simply say if not ground rate dot colliding if the player is not on the ground then we say sprite dot frame equals 2. But as a default for now at least uh, it's gonna be zero so you can see there's like this jumping animation now we don't have a walking animation for that we go into our moving method and when we press move left we simply say all right sprite dot flip h equals true so that means that we turn our player around horizontally but we don't want to do that we want to have it false when we are moving to the right now you can see he looks into the right direction so now he only needs to walk for that we go into our date animations method and we say all right sprite frame sprite dot frame is only zero if move dot x equals equals zero and otherwise now what we're gonna do is we will create a variable animation timer equals 0f get the delta value uh, value as a parameter animation timer plus equals delta so it counts up if you are not moving we want to reset it so that this won't count up into infinity and if we are moving if if animation timer modulo 2 we will get to what that means in a bit equals equals zero then sprite dot frame equals one otherwise equals zero what does this modular operator do it divides animation timer by two but it doesn't return the result of this division but it returns the remainder of this division if the number is even then we will get a zero as a result as it is divisible by two if not we won't get zero so actually we have an issue right here here we say move.x equals zero so every time we call this method move.x is zero so what can we do here i think the easiest fix would be to remove that update animation method from here and put this in here it may not be the most elegant solution at least our move.x value is not going to be zero so now it is important that we cast this one to an integer because otherwise we'll never get like a round number because delta is always a seemingly random fraction which is why we would never get to like 3.0 now it works but it's way too slow we simply multiply the delta value times move dot x times 0.03 which means that our animation timer is going to increase quicker the more speed we have and then we check all right is it divi dividable to the integer of it so it's rounded down all right then it's frame number one otherwise it's frame number zero and that way we flip around uh, between those wa two walking states well now this looks truly great this is quite decent so in the next episode, we'll get to create some enemies with very basic AI. Yeah, maybe we'll, and we'll also get to well, this typical Mario jumping on the enemy in order for it to die. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, leave a like. With that, I say goodbye.